Steve here with Table Rock Tea Company. I am in the greenhouse germination room. And before us is a very cool, I don't know if it's rare, but it's not that easy to get, um, plant. It was given to me uh, some cuttings by a local friend of mine. He's a, an herb grower. And um, anyway, it's Canadian water mint. We are actually so impressed with this plant that we are going to make a tea that's a single ingredient uh, herbal tea from this. Um, the flavor is, first of all, it doesn't look like any other type of mint, you know, uh, if you're familiar with mints. Not that easy to grow. Um, actually, still not sure of its growing conditions. It says water mint, but uh, honestly, I don't know if it's supposed to be in damp soils or near a creek or if that's just what they call it. So right now I'm just kind of taking it easy here, trying to get this whole bin filled with the few cuttings that he gave me. I'm actually doing some layering experiments. I've never really done that before, uh, where some of the floppy ones I folded over, buried under, and, and hopefully they'll start a new one. Uh, if not, I just kind of killed one of the branches. But anyway, this uh, Canadian water mint was wild crafted years ago and now is uh, being cultivated by my friend. And it tastes like, um, I, I feel like it tastes like the great outdoors. It, it's got it's got mint to it, but it has a little basil tone to it, and it has some earthy notes to it. It's one of these teas that just immediately transports you to a mountain hike somewhere. And so I can't wait to finally get this established enough to release its own uh, tea product from it. I think you guys are really going to like it. It's unlike anything I've ever tasted before. So uh, we've tasted a lot of stuff. So anyway, Canadian water mint, look for it. Probably not this year. Um, we'll see how we get it going, but, but, but hopefully next year. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned to see what else is brewing here at Table Rock Tea Company.